Hey guys, William here. Today we're going to do a product review on the J Concepts boxes and my new pit bag. So this is going to be a pit accessories I have. Just take small stuff. Um, I don't have a battery. Or that's what I'm going to put in here for you guys. I'll just try to show you how it works. It comes with foam engine. I'll, I'll explain it more when I get open the box and shit for you guys. But like, yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go review these. I'll explain what I use these for, what I do for them. And then we'll switch over to my new pit bag. Um, only got one of my pit bags. I want to get two or three of them get, to get them really running. So I have an indoor and outdoor and that, right? So, but right now I got one. So we'll start there. And so far, I'm very happy with it. All right. So I got two of these boxes. They are exact identical boxes. Just to show what they are. Because J Concepts makes two different of these boxes. One for motors and one for lipos. All right. So I got two of these. So I'm going to put them aside. All right. So pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one, two, three shorty packs. So I have six shorty packs total. Boom. Actually, I only have four right now of my sponsored ones of Team Zombie. So thank you, Team Zombie, for being sponsored. Also, I'd like to thank um, Techno and Hogwing for my other sponsorships too. So they are really great. And I thank Katie Designs, who have been rushing, painting all my stuff, doing all my stuff for me. Shirts and deep decals and stuff. So thank you to all them. A uh, couple things with this box. I find it's very tight to fit batteries in here. So I'm not sure what three would be like in here, but I know two is, I put two here and they're tight as a rule. So it's just like, you gotta like kind of be very careful with that. So these are there. All right. So I would not leave that batteries in here over time, as it says right here. It's not lipo safe. Um, I use this primarily just for organiz on race days. I keep everything else in an ammunition box. As you guys can see down there. So yeah, that is the J concept box. Would I recommend them? Yeah. They're pretty cool. Is it something that you need? No, it's not something you need. Um, it's something just to tidy up your pits, look a little flashier on race day. It's a J Concepts. Um, I'll put the part down in the description of the video. But yeah, so this is pretty good. Um, personally, I like these. Um, I've been using one race day so far, and it's pretty nice. Nice and quick. Their foam pieces come in here, so if you only wanted to put one battery in, you could. This foam comes out, so you can access, you can take it out into the storage container. But yeah, so that's how it looks. Looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with it. So now we're gonna move over to my pit bag. All right. So, some of you guys might know what this is. Some of you guys might not know what this is. This is an OGO 9800 bag, all right? So, I'll have to get someone else to help me to record this um, to get a more detailed one in, but and show it's in there. So there's that. So we have a pouch up top there, and I'll just flip this open so you guys can see this all, and I'll get someone to record it when I do all the opening. So you guys can see me as I'm recording it. I'm gonna show you what's in each pouch and everything. Ugh. So yeah, big open bag, part containers, tools. Rags, rags, oils, more stuff. But yeah, so I will get you guys a clip here in a little bit of this. All right, hey guys, so this is the Ojo bag, the 9800 series. So we're gonna start off by I'm going to show you what's in the top shelf, top compartment. So in the top compartment, I have my some press tray. I got my drill and a car stand. So that's everything I got in the, in the parts in the top. So this is gonna be my new pit bag. So as I said earlier in the video, this is the new pit bag, right? So we're gonna have here. Ugh. We're gonna show it's all in this one. So there's two compartments here. We have a bottom compartment, which is right here. And in this compartment, we have my pit mat, my extension cord, my power brick. here this one is my oils and also has my parts or my tools in it sorry all right so that's my dip oils and this i find the best things best things to have are my calibers and my camera gauge then on this big top one right here the big the big main portion of it 
In the back, I have a whole lot of rags holding up the back of my casing. Just for some spare padding and stuff. And I have all my parts. So I have my parts, my bearings, my tool kits. You guys kind of saw what I bring for that kind of stuff. My other videos. At the very top, I have all my shock oil. And I also have more rags underneath. So yeah, this is everything we have in the Ojo bag. So I have not had this on a race day yet, but it's going to start being my new race day pit bag. It's pretty good. And I love it. Uh, it's nice and big. It's airplane approved. So you can fly with it if you need to fly with it. You just gotta make sure you keep it under 50 pounds. This is around 15, 20 pounds empty, give or take. So it looks pretty good. So I'll zip it up and show you guys the bottom behind of it. So this is we're gonna close it up. I have a lot of stuff, so it's gonna be a little tighter squeeze. But nice and good. Right now, I think this sits around the 50 pound mark a little bit more, and I'll have a scale away. So, you have two handles here to pick it up. You have a handle here. And then you got two wheels on the bottom. You got this nice, it's nice, it's a nice hard plastic there on top. And your handle. So, you can just roll it around. So, that's the bag. It's my new pit bag. So, peace out, and I'll pick you guys up later.